In this video, we will discuss how you can expand the capabilities of the CTrader Automate API by using extension methods. Using relatively simple syntax, you can add new behaviors to any predefined API class and then execute these behaviors from any object of the class you chose to extend. First, we will conduct a quick demonstration of why you might want to use extension methods. Using a CBOT, we want to be able to access the size of a given position. We can do this by accessing the volume in units property from any position object. However, as implied by its name, it will only output information in units. Instead, we want our data to be in lots as this information directly affects our preferred trading strategy. To do so, we can try to initialize a variable of the position class and then try to access its lots method. As you can see, when we type this code, we receive an error suggesting that the lots accessor does not exist in the API, meaning that we cannot easily execute our desired functionality. However, this can be easily addressed with the help of extension methods. We will run a bot that we have prepared specifically for this video. As you can see, it prints the volumes of all currently open positions to the log on start and it does so in lots rather than units. We will now explain exactly how we have achieved this result and discuss the key rules for working with extension methods. Using extension methods is easy as long as you remember several important principles. To start with, extension methods are always static. To show this, we will create a new CBOT, rename it, and then delete unnecessary code. Below the usual template, we will add a new static My Extensions class. In the class, we will also define the static lots method that will return a double. Extension methods can have any number of arguments, but the first argument always has to designate the data type or class for which the method is supposed to be called preceded by the this keyword. In our CBOT, we will add the position argument of the position type to the lots method and we will also add the this keyword before it. Extension methods can contain any logic suitable for the provided arguments. There is no need to use special syntax when defining the body of an extension method. To complete our lots method, we will add a return statement prompting the method to return the size of a position in units divided by the lot size of the symbol for which it is opened. Extension methods can be called as instance methods. To show this, we will first initialize an object of the position type. Afterward, we could simply call the method from this object by typing a dot and typing lots. Note that when we attempt to call an extension method, IntelliSense uses a special icon to distinguish it from built-in API members. When using this syntax, avoid cases where your extension methods have the same signatures as any of the built-in API methods. In these situations, a built-in method will be called every time you attempt to call an extension method with a matching signature. For example, if we add an extension method called close with no arguments, it will never be called when we attempt to use it. To finalize our bot, we will ask it to execute three orders on start each with different volume. On every bar, the bot should print the volume of all currently open positions in lots.
After building and launching our C bot, we should see the correct values being printed in the log. We will now try to create a more complex C bot. On every bar, our algo will go over the list of currently open positions and adjust their stop loss levels so that they are at break even. To do so, we will need to create a break even extension method for the position class. We create a new C bot and rename it. Afterward, we delete all the code we do not need and add the My Extensions class. Our code for the break-even method is relatively simple. We check if a position has a stop loss, whether its gross profit is greater than zero, and whether the currently set stop loss is not equal to the position entry price. If all of these conditions are true, we modify the stop loss of the position so that it is equal to the position entry price. In the CBOT itself, we do not need to use any other method other than on bar. On every bar we ask the bot to perform a simple operation, namely iterate over the positions collection and call the new break-even method for each element in it. After we build and launch our bot, we pay our attention to the positions list where stop losses are being moved to break even. It can be a handy trading assistant, especially when managing many open positions. We will also create a useful indicator that relies on extension methods. The indicator will measure volatility by plotting the percentage by which the price of a symbol is changed on every bar compared to the opening price of said bar. To do so, we will create a new indicator and rename it. In the code editor window, We will create the My Extensions class to extend the bar class. We will also add the percentage change method. In the price change variable, we subtract the close price of a bar from its opening price. The method returns our price change divided by the open price and multiplied by 100. In the indicator code itself, we have no need for the initialize method and unnecessary parameters. In the body of the calculate method, we simply call our new percentage change method on every bar. Afterward, we save and build our indicator. After creating an instance of it, we should see the correct percentage changes being plotted. They can be used to determine short and long-term volatility, benefiting all kinds of trading strategies. To conclude, extension methods are a valuable tool if you want to create reusable code that adds new functionalities to the CTrader Automate API. We highly recommend experimenting with extension methods as they can make your algos more efficient and easier to maintain. If you want to learn more about working with the Automate API, subscribe to our YouTube channel to be alerted every time we publish a new video.